FoxNews.com on location in Basel, Switzerland, covering the 2021 Air Canada race. It's fabulous. I'm so excited to be here. The Air Canada race is really a scavenger hunt. We've been doing it for many, many years to take off on the amazing race, but geared towards travel and geared towards enjoying where you are. It's exciting because it's not just about the race and the people that are here. It's about everybody getting ready for the race and qualifying for the race. It's like the Olympics. Six teams, six challenges, six different locations. Points are awarded for answering questions correctly. Teamwork is advised. We're in Basel. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. It's a little boutique city and it's uh, famous for the arts. <laughs> top secret itinerary, I don't even know what it is. I'm gonna just follow everyone and uh, make sure yeah. that we are on the winning team, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good luck, Good luck everyone. everybody. Enjoy Switzerland. Woo. Woo! Let's get this game started. Start your engines, everyone. May the best Swiss travel expert win. just reached our first challenge. The objective of this challenge is to dress the three mannequins with typical Basel Carnival costumes. Two minutes! Two minutes, Mass Mocker! We are the oldest manufacturing company of Switzerland. In 1753 our company got founded and since then we are producing these signature cookies. At this challenge the team must uh, wrap six boxes in less than 12 minutes without hurting the box and putting the cookies inside the box as nice and neatly as possible. It's a great time for travel agents to shine and show their value. We've all read about what all the, you know, what how the world has changed, how travel has changed. When you've been through it yourself, you can actually speak with confidence and and uh, explain it to our customers, so they feel confident when they're traveling. The Air Canada race takes place on land and on water. We're just about to board a water taxi to go to a point where Switzerland, France, and Germany all meet. How's it going guys? Very good, very good. I, I think we have the winning team with us, but yeah, you'll have to let us... Oh! oh. <laughs> Some smack talk. <laughs> We're at the uh, three countries, basically an area where three countries meet. So basically France, Switzerland and Germany. They have to decide where the right country is located. They will hold up the sign with the arrow pointing in the right direction and we will take a picture of it. The next challenge is taking place at the Basler Münster. And the teams need to figure out the architectural style of the cathedral and they need to figure out the name of the two towers that are up there. We are in the Kunstmuseum. It's a very famous museum. It's the famous first collection of public art. Right now they are trying to mimic this statue that you see. We're going to mark them on their accuracy. Details matter. <laughs> trying to guess how many colors are in this work of art. It's actually really difficult. Oh my God. This is 
is a fun challenge called Pictionary. 20 clues that the teams have to guess. They are guessing yeah. typical experiences in Basel and uh, it really shows that they have been paying attention and uh, <laughs> yeah, they're doing great. <laughs> This has been absolutely fantastic. A really fun day, great group of people, great little challenges here and there. It was a great way to see a city that we've never been to. It has been an absolute blast. I think it is a marvelous idea and I just love it. It's so fun that, uh, that learning can be so playful and uh, with a gamification aspect of it, I think it's very creative. All right, after a fun-filled day, it's time to announce the winner. We have all been through a lot together and I know that a lot of work has gone in in servicing every single customer over the last year and a half. It's been a lot of work and this is a great opportunity to say thank you. I encourage all of our travel partners not to underestimate their value yeah. because they are very valuable not only to their customers but also yeah. to us. We, we value your, your patience, we value your commitment to, to our brand. From the River Rhine, this is Michael Piak for PaxNews.com.